What is going on YouTube? Here I am back at it again, discovering MTG. Man, I just got back from the Tales of Aria world premiere event that's happening right here in Las Vegas, Nevada. And it's happening, if you guys are local uh, in Las Vegas, uh, go ahead and check out the Las Vegas Convention Center this weekend, um, September 10th through the 12th. And uh, go ahead and check it out, man. If you're a flesh and blood player, man, it's a world premiere. And um, I went and I ran into the professor from Tolarian Community College, man. And that's the only reason why I went there. I'm not a flesh and blood player, but entrance fee is free to get in. But if you want to play in the tournaments, of course, you had to register. And then they've got all sorts of side events. And then um, they have a prize wall with where you win prize ticks from you know throughout the events and side events and then you can recoup those ticks for um, you know flesh and blood cards and then they've got other um, local game stores there selling their flesh and blood singles but uh on my way back man i went and picked up one of these mystery booster convention editions uh for a whopping 279.95 plus tax and uh, you can see here it's completely sealed. Now this isn't the uh, first print that they had back in 2019 where they were handing out packs um, during the convention and they also had like some sort of side events where you can actually draft them. And those ones, the difference between this one that was released in 2021 and the one back that was released in 2019 um, is that the playtest cards. Uh, the playtest cards have little planeswalker symbols on the first edition and then this one here um, I'm not sure which edition. We'll just call it the 2021 edition, but um, the playtest cards don't have the planeswalker symbol So if you're looking, you know, hey look I can make a quick buck Keep in mind. There's different versions. So they're not the same price. I, I believe TCG player has since updated their uh, pricing uh, data to reflect planeswalker symbol or no planeswalker symbol and there's a huge difference guys so make sure you keep that in mind uh without further ado we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get into this box here and let me go grab my razor so just bear with me a second here all right i've got my setup and then my razor here i'm just gonna slice and dice now this is episode 60 man i've been kind of out of it um and you know, I just kind of left my channel out there to hang. Um, it became a dead channel. And so let, let's try to revive it a little. You know, I got some steel product and uh, we're, we're gonna go ahead and try to keep the train going. So um, stick with me guys. If you like my content, go ahead and subscribe. If you haven't already, smash that like button, of course. And for you guys that don't like it, you know, there's a thumbs down option for you guys. Um, but uh, yeah, hit me up, you know, leave a comment. Hopefully we get uh, a Sliv Mizzix or, or even a Mana Crypt. Oh man, wouldn't that be nice. Now in this one, uh, they pulled out from the comment slot, they pulled out um, Ristic Study. Ristic Study was like up there on the top tier of value-wise, EV-wise. So it kind of makes a little difference with the value in this box. But uh, we'll go ahead and set that aside right there. And then we'll start cracking. Get the cracking, man. I wonder if... Uh, 2020 yep it says 2021 right there so and then also the difference between this one and the first edition that 13 plus sign which is for the age recommendation um that isn't circled in white and then so so it just says 13 plus and there's no white circle around it um so let's go ahead and get into our first pack man I'm looking for that mana crypt all right, so we've got a mix of commons and uncommons. And the way they have these booster packs set up is you're gonna get two white cards, you get two blue cards. Red, um, what is that blue elemental blast? You got a shriek mom, grab a blood sucker, and then you get two black cards, two red cards, two green cards, and then you get some gold cards, and then a land, and then timely reinforcements. That's actually a good uh, sideboard card in modern. And then we got a two headed giant from Dominaria. That's two colors, two red. It's a creature giant warrior, 4-4 four, four body. Whenever two-headed giant attacks, flip two coins. If both coins come up heads, two-headed giant gains double strike until end of turn. Both coins come up tails, two-headed giant gains menace until end of turn. 
And then we got a Witty Demon. Look at that guy just rocking out, man. Witty Demon. Now, one thing you gotta keep in mind, man, is uh, if you don't like these fun playtest cards, because they're not tournament legal, you can play with your groups, um, you know, uh, in, in Commander maybe, or just like, drafting's probably the best way to go with this set. Um, but yeah, man, if you don't like uh, just like funny uncards or just uh, playtest cards, then I uh, highly recommend staying away. But, uh, you know, here, I spent the money for you guys, so you guys can check out the goods right here on my channel. Alright, so we got Goblin War, Goblin War Chief, Creeping Mold, Thrashing Brontodon, Azra Odds Maker, Tectonic Edge. We got a Kraken Wake Cremator, two colorless, two red. It's a creature giant shaman, 5 4 body. When Kraken Witch Cremator comes into play, discard a card at random. If you discard a creature card this way, Kraken Witch Cremator deals damage equal to that card's power to target player. That flavor text each night that his bowl fills a village mourns. Alright, so that's our second rare. And then we got another rare in this pack. Six colorless, two green, enchantment or enchant land, enchant land has tappy, create a 5-5 five, five green beast, creature token with trample. Nice. Now what did we get here for our uh, playtest card? Corrupted Key. Man, that's some cool art. And then, you know, what? one thing I do wish that they did with this was that they put at least the artist's name. Um, probably it was their, uh, their, what do you call it? what do you call it, their, their uh, design team that, you know, just their employees at Watsy maybe, that they just had, you know, hey look, you can make a card here, just submit your uh, drawings in, and but they probably want to keep their name anonymous, just to protect their employees, you know. Um, so we've got Mungulus, Fairy Mechanist, ooh, Shattering Spree, that's actually a good, uh, good uncommon right there, on Crop Crasher. Greater Basilisk, Crystal Ball, ooh, okay, we got a Hakon Stronghold Scourge, one colorless, two black, legendary creature zombie knight, you may play Hakon Stronghold Scourge from your graveyard, but not from anywhere else, as long as Hakon is in play, you may play knight cards from your graveyard, when Hakon is put into a graveyard from play, you lose two life, and it's a 3-3 three, three body. Nice, and we got another rare. I like getting double rare packs, you know. Gaunti Lord of Luxury, two colorless, two black. It's from Kaladesh, legendary creature. A three born rogue, it's two three body with dead touch. When Gaunti Lord of Luxury ETBs, look at the top four cards of target opponent's library, exile one of them face down, and put the rest of them bottom of that library in a random order. For as long as that card remains exiled, you may look at it, you may cast it, and you may spend mana as though it were mana of any type to cast it. Nice. We got a Blame Slayer Aspirin. Little human soldier guy. And and one thing about these playtest cards, when they do like playtest cards in uh, Watsi, if you didn't know, they just put card name and then they give the name and then so so it just kind of makes it easy in the uh, the effect there for them to understand. Okay, this card is doing this stuff. Let's uh, separate these. I'll, I'll put the good uncommons over here. And then uh, stack my rares over there. And just that stack over there. Alright, continuing with the left side here. Another thing right here uh, with this box. I believe it comes with only 24 packs. So for $279 plus tax, uh, man, you're spending almost 300 bucks for 24 packs. So it's about 10 bucks a pack roughly a little bit more all right Ooh, a wolf nah it's just a just a creature no special effects there ornithopter nice and we got a old school card imperial armor i don't think that's a rare it's probably not common and then we got decree of justice double x two colorless and two white man that's a lot of mana sorcery Put X44 white angel creature tokens with flying onto the battlefield. And it's got cycling when you cycle it. To create justice, you may pay X if you do put X11 white soldier creature tokens onto the battlefield. So it's got options. It's got options there. Yeah. And spiral inspirational antelope. That's pretty cool. Alright. 
I'm just taking my time with this box. You guys can uh, feel free to double tap right here. You know, fast forward about 10 seconds if you want to go. Um, I don't know if I'm keeping a rhythm, but uh, you might miss something. You you might not. But uh, yeah, just giving you guys those options there. All right. Sleepless Breaker of Armies. Man, I thought that was Kozilek for a second. It is a beefy creature, 10-8. And then we got a Flame Shot. That old school prophecy card. See that Planeswalker symbol? And if you'll notice on the playtest card. Ooh, Recruiter of the Guard. Man, that's a good hit. Right there, that should be a, around 20 bucks, ain't it? Recruiter of the Guard, two colors, one white, creature, human, soldier, one one body. When Recruiter of the Guard ETVs, you may search your library for a creature card with toughness, two or less. Reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Nice. I'll take that. Command the Chaff. Look at that guy. That old guy just like thinking about dragons and devils and stuff. Sounds like magic to me. Alright. Well, I gotta say, I'm really enjoying this box. I got it a couple times at my local LGS. It was about 30 bucks a pop, man, to, to draft this. And then one time, actually, they ran out of uh, Mystery uh, Convention Edition booster packs. And they threw in, what what is it called? Uh, Modern Horizons 2. So you could naturalize. There you go. Crowd goes wild. Battle bond. Lightning. That's some cool art. Look at that. It's like something you get a tattoo of. We got Sigil of Valor, Magic Origins. Ooh, and then we're running into our first rare of this pack, Null Spine Dragon. Five colorless, two red creature dragon, seven five body with flying. When Null Spine Dragon comes into play, you may discard your hand and draw cards equal to equal to the damage dealt to target opponent this turn. Wow. Ooh, and the Savage Knuckle Blade from Kanza Takir. It's a team of colors, creature over wizard, four four body, and it's got all kinds of abilities right there. Nice, and a do-over. Got that reset button right there. Cool art, man. Fun, too, you know? Like, I, this is, like, one thing that I really enjoy about Magic the Gathering is, like, seeing all this cool art. I mean, yeah, you know, there's really no more use than hanging it on your wall or throwing it on a Magic card, but, you know, it's nice to appreciate, like, that dark ritual. Yeah, that guy's just, uh... Ritualizing three swamp manas up for you. <laughs> you know, volcanic rush. Look at that. Man, you know, I, I was just thinking the other day how cool it would be to be an artist for uh, Magic Gathering cards. Ooh, Skull Clamp. That is a decent uncommon right there. I think like nine bucks or so. We got a Dungrove Elder from Magic 2012. Two colorless, one green creature, Tree Folk. Star Star Power, Hexproof. Dungrove Elder's power and toughness are each equal to the number of forests you control. That's cool. That's cool. Alright, and then we got Torium Mauler. Two colorless, one red creature shapeshifter changeling, which means this is a creature, uh, every creature type. 2 2 value. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, you may put a plus one, plus one counter on it. <laughs> and then look at this, guys. It's got Bind and Liberate, so it's a double card. Um, yeah, I'm not going to read all that, but that's cute. At the least. And at the very least, it's, it's super cute. Yeah. So, I remember back in high school, man, I used to just doodle all the time. Especially when the teacher was teaching important stuff. And, uh, my art got up there for a while. You know, I took art for all four years of my high school days and some in college. Um, but then I got married and started a career and, ooh, asceticism. Look at that. And, uh, my artistic talent has since gone down the drain. <laughs> Asceticism. It's three colorless, two green, it's an enchantment. Creatures you control can't, can't be the target of spells or abilities your opponents control. Regenerate target creature for one colorless and one green. That's an, ooh, nice! We got a Teferi Planeswalker, Temporal Archmage, four colorless, two blue, Planeswalker, Teferi, five loyalty. It's got plus one, minus one, and neck ten. Look at that for his ultimate. You get an emblem with you may activate loyalty ability to playing with blockers you control on any player's turn at any time you could cast an instant. 
dude. But, God, Teferi is just like so, always so good. Like whatever, I don't know, that's probably the worst, but. Oh, and he can be actually be your um, commander, I think. Uh, Frontier Explorer. But Teferi, man, this new set that's coming out, Innistrad, like the werewolves and stuff. There's another Teferi where that slows down, down time. And that's pretty much all he ever does for your opponents. If, you, if you're playing, what do you call it? Azorius colors? Blue and white? Man, blue-white control is and standard. It's just annoying, dude. But, uh, yeah, to each their own, right? Dark Dabbling, Wake of Vultures, Goblin Assault, Throwing Victor, Con Assassin, Milliken. It's like a mannequin, but not. Ooh, look at this old school card. Release the Ants. Hmm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Queen Marchesa. One of the most fun commanders to be playing with and, and it's got monarch i mean just right when it comes out you know and gosh it's got mardu colors there queen marchesa legendary creature human assassin 3-3 three, three, death touch haste when etbs you know you become the monarch at the beginning of your upkeep if an opponent is the monarch put a one one black assassin creature token with death touch and haste onto the battlefield onto the beetle field yeah that's a that's a good mythic hit trial and error that's a cool card and boomerang you gonna learn today trial and error all right moving into the middle of this box still haven't hit a what is it mana crypt because that's what we're chasing but i'll be fine if i don't get a mana crypt you know i got a couple from my other my mystery but the retail edition dude i opened up like two boxes each box i got a mana crypt i sold one for like 90 bucks when it hit low and then uh, kept one for uh, for my uh, commander deck, one of my command decks. Got a short sword, pestilence from Urza Saga. Wow, it's going way back. It's around the time I started uh, Magic. Uh, I actually started in Fallen Empires, but that's when I really started getting into it. And Urza Saga was so busted. The Dorn Pouncer. We got one colorless, one white creature, cat, double strike, eternalize, one one body. Control with condition. It's like a shark just like opened up its mouth or shark whale, whale, and yeah, creature whale. That's cool. Yeah, I remember when I started playing Magic the Gathering, man. Fallen Empires with all those rolls and those really crappy lands, but try to make something of it when you're little. Alright, going into this pack, burst lightning, dual shot, nice. Mangle horn. Treacherous terrain. That would be worth something, huh? Blocked cast. We got a sandstone oracle. Core chant from Conspiracy. And then, oh, nice! I just sold one of these on eBay. It's actually my last copy, and I was uh, kind of bummed out, but I needed the money from uh, Aether Revolt for colorless artifact. You guys know this is the Death Star. Whenever you cast a spell, you gain one life for each spell you cast this turn. Pay 50 life. Aether Flux Reservoir deals 50 damage to target creature or player. And I think that's the most life costing card in all the Magic the Gathering. And then we got an Evil Boros Charm. Got that hybrid mana. That's cool. Evil Boros Charm, huh? Yeah. I'm losing money every pack I open, but. I'm sure having a lot of fun sharing this with you guys. Uh, if you guys like my content, go ahead, man. I've got this would be my 60th video, so uh, I've got lots of content. Um, yeah, a lot of this stuff's corny the way I do it, but uh, yeah, man, I'm just sharing this with my kids, just trying to keep a catalog of you know my magic days uh, and just enjoying it, you know. The death reef ritual I've got a great furnace, dark fat land. Nice, the defense of the heart from Urza's legacy. Three colors, one green, enchantment during your upkeep. If one of your opponents controls three or more creatures, sacrifice defense of the heart, search your library for up to two creature cards, put them into play. Shuffle your library afterwards. That's that could be pretty powerful. And then we got a goblin pile driver. Look at that goblin just like taking away that soldier. Probably a human soldier. One colorless, one red creature. Goblin Warrior, 1-2 body, protection from blue. Whenever Goblin Piledriver attacks, it gets plus 2, plus 0 until end of turn for each other attacking Goblin. 
dude that can get pretty beefy then we got a bone rattler look at that guy just rattling rattling his bones away all right going in the middle of the middle of the box of the box of the mystery booster convention edition 2021 Chandra's Pirate Helix, Hanvar Lancer, Rose Thorn, Halberd. Ooh, Baskin Rubble, nice uh, limited card. Giant baiting. What is he? He's baiting a giant. <laughs> Rona's Monument. Mm. All right, Dothy Mind Ripper. Ooh, nice, and a mythic. Get the Get Rod Monster. We got three colorless, and then we got black and green, legendary creature, frog horde, 6-6 six, six body, death touch. Beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice the get rock monster unless you sack a land. You may plant additional land on each of your turns. Whenever one or more land cards are put into the, your graveyard from anywhere, draw a card. And then a geometric weird. Nice for all you mathematicians. Alright. That's not too bad, not too bad. Get right, Monster. I think he's got a little bit of value, right? Right? I mean, come on. These packs are only like 12 bones a piece, dude. He's some value. It, I th honestly think it's um, hit one of the higher end uh, playtest cards or or what, what's the other one? Uh, yeah, Mana Crypt. We got a Squirrel Ranger for you, Squirrel lovers out there. Two colorless, two green creature druid. It's got some effects there. It's 2-2 two, two body. And a beacon of immortality. Five colorless. One white. Instant. Double target player's life total. Shuffle it into your owner's library. Nice. And a banding sliver. That's actually, I think, worth a little bit. That's pretty cool. Alright. So I think we got... Nine more. This would be ten. Ten more packs to go. Propaganda, not too bad. Man, it kind of sucks getting those uh, cards. Um, Enchanted Evening, three colorless hybrid or Azorius. Enchantment all permanents are enchantments in addition to their other types. Move in the black market. Three colors, two black enchantment. Whenever a creature dies, put the charge counter on black market. At the beginning of your up pre combat main phase, add black to your mana pool for each charge counter on black market. Nice way to ramp up for those black mono black EDH decks. Aggressive crack. Ooh, it's a dual land. Nice. Nice little dual land there. That is one pissed off mountain. It's an aggressive crag. Arr. Alright. Frantic Search. It's a good card. Singer Vampire. Snake Umbra. Armadillo Cloak. I think that's worth something. Maybe, maybe not. Cathodian. Then we got a. Uh, oh man, is that Portal? Second Age? Rhymestone Dragon. Not sure if that's a rare, but. Some beefy creature. Uh, Serendib Efree. Womp womp. Everlasting Lich. Alright, two colorless, one blue, flying at the beginning of your upkeep, surrender be free, deals one damage to you, three, four body. Alright, moving into the second half of the box. Or not the second half, the right side. Man, I'm seeing double. Wish I had more packs to open. But like I said, that this mystery booster convention edition only comes with 24 packs. Trepanation Blade. Ooh, nice, that's a good hit. We got Perforos, God of the Forge, three colorless, one red, legendary enchantment creature, God, indestructible, six five body. As long as your devotion is red, is, is devotion to red is less than five. Perforos is in a creature. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, Perforos deals two damage to each opponent. It's got two colors, one red creatures you control get plus one plus zero until end of the turn. Nice, and we got. Another rare in the pack. Animatsu Zagri. Six colorless, two blue sorcery. Exile the top eight cards of your library. You may put a land card from among them onto the battlefield until end of turn for each non-land card type. You may cast a card of that type from among the exiled cards without paying its mana cost. That's not too bad. An animate spell. Look at that guy. 
Chamin Aura. Hmm. That's lots of fun. And opening packs is fun too, isn't it, guys? Bird Raiders, Reckless Fire Weaver, Fiery Temper, Mardu Rough Rider, MSC Tome. Oh man, Chancellor of Annex, four colorless, three white creature angel, five six body. You may you may reveal this card from your opening hand. If you do, when each opponent casts his or her first spell of the game, counter this spell unless the player pays one colorless. Flying, whenever an opponent casts a spell, counter it unless the player pays one. Oh, and we got another rare, Phyrexian Plague Lord, three colorless, two black creature carrier, four four body. Tap it, sack, sack it. Target creature gets neg four, neg four until end of turn. Sack first creature, target creature gets minus one, minus one until end of turn. And a recycler bird. Look at that guy. And then that big old chain. Got that, that bling on him. Alright. Mythic there. Uh, we got Dolmen Gate, two colorless artifact, prevent all combat damage that would be dealt to attacking creatures you control. That is crazy. And then we got Temporal Mastery, uh, five colors, two blue. Take an extra turn after this one, exile Temporal Mastery, and it's got Miracle. And then an Experiment Five, it's like a snake on a wolf, bear, or a bear, it's a bear mutant snake. We got a few more packs here to go, guys. Thanks for uh, sticking around. Hopefully you're enjoying that double tap feature on that screen right there. If not, thanks for listening. We got an Ancient Grudge, nice little cyborg card. A Will Wesher, Croson Tusker. Roshi Meander, Crystal Chimes. Ooh, wow. Shrouded Lore. Oh, nice. Eldritch Evolution. That's not a bad hit. One color is two green. Sorcery is an additional cost to cast Eldritch Moon Sack creature. Search your library for a creature card with converted mana cost X or less, where X is two plus sack creatures converted mana cost. Put that card on the battlefield, then shuffle your library. Exile Eldritch Evolution. A lot going on right there. And then Soulmates. Man, that is super cute. Still no mana crypt guys, but we got a few pretty good hits. Uh, not too shabby, to be honest with you. Seen some other boxes open, and, uh, and they're about the same. Lightning Helix, that's a pretty decent card. Mirror Retriever, Umbral Mantle, that's like ten bucks right there. Uh, release the Gremlins, Double X Red Sorcery, Destroy X Target Artifacts, Create X Two Two Red Gremlin Creature Tokens. And a Zim Mesmeric Lord. Man, look at that heart. Find that touch. All right. Dark Blast. Diabolic Edict. That's not too bad. I think there's demonic tutors in here too, right? Goblin Trenches, one colorless, Boros colors, enchantment, pay two, sack a land, put two, one, one, red, and white goblin soldier creature tokens onto the battlefield. And a Iron Tread Crusher, four colorless, it's got crew three, six, six body. Oh, that's weird. A Via Shano Sandstalker. Wait, that's a common. They had a rare, a common, a common? Whoa, they messed up there, didn't they? Supreme Verdict. Uh, that's a good hit. One, two white, and a blue. Sorcerer Supreme Verdict can't be countered. Destroy all creatures. And an enchantment ties. That's cool. Alright, we got two more packs left, guys. Let's get that demonic tutor. Where is it? 
Shatter. Is that level up card? Zealous Persecution, Aetherhood. Chatter of the Squirrel. Chaos Warp, that's not a bad hit. Uh, two colors, one red, instant. The owner of target permanent shuffles it into his or her library, then reveals the top card of his or her library. If it's a permanent card, he or she puts it onto the battlefield. Then a Generator Horizons. Man, there's a lot going on there. It's like a Windows, Windows uh, 95. All right, last pack, guys. Fingers crossed for that Mana Crypt. If not, womp womp. Say la vie. All right, Murder, Black Cat. Guy's Blessing, Burroughs Challenger with a Mentor, a Millstone, it's not too bad, put that over there, ooh, and a Belby's Portal, uh, five colors, that's from, uh, what is that, man, it's not, it's not Prophecy, uh, it's the one with, uh, that sword right there, Artifact, as Belby's Portal comes into play, choose a creature type, three colors, tab it, put a creature card of the chosen type from your hand into play, nice way to cheat out cards. And then to finish it off, we got a mirror entity. Two colorless, one white creature shapeshifter changeling. Pay X until end of turn. Creatures you control have base power and toughness XX and gain all creature types. One one body. And then a wizened arbiter. Nice guys. Well, uh, that's that's pretty much it. We'll go through uh, all the playtest cards real quick. Uh, wizened arbiter, generate horizons, enchantment ties, and soulmates, experiment five, cycle bird, animate spell, everlasting witch. I think that's a really good one. Aggressive crag, and that's also another good one. A banding sliver, geometric weird, bone rattler, evil boros charm, control with condition, trial and error, frontier explore, bind liberate, do over, command the chaff, inspirational antelope. Baneslayer Aspirant, Corrupted Key, and a Witty Demon. Yeah, I'm going to have lots of fun uh, building a little commander deck with those in there. And I'm playing it with my uh, my EDH group, uh, Belby's Portal. Just go through these real quick so you guys can get a little recap. Temporal Mastery. I don't know, that might be worth something. You got a Porphyros. Oh, those are worth a couple bucks. Get Rock Monster, Defense of the Heart, Aether Flux Reservoir, Queen Marchessa, Tefiri, Asceticism might be worth a couple of bucks. What else we got? Recruiter of the Guard. Yeah, that's worth a dollar or two. Alright. Well, hey, thanks for tuning in, guys. Just make sure you stay safe out there. Peace out.